Praise the Lord, everybody. We certainly do praise the Lord for His greatness and His mercy and His love and His kindness that He has shown toward us. And the psalm says, When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that He has done for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah. We certainly do praise God for His salvation. We praise Him for His deliverance and His mighty acts that He has shown toward the children of men. Now I can say if it had not been for the Lord on our side, there's no telling where we would be. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, we certainly want to remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Uh, we want to also pray for uh, this nation as it has impeached its uh, president for the second time. So we want to uh, pray for the nation that the Lord will uh, send unity and uh, deliverance and healing. Amen. The scripture says a, uh, a house divided against itself cannot stand. So let us, let us pray on that wise as well. And let us also pray uh, for uh, saints, the body of Christ, as we, uh, you know, are living truly in the last days Amen. and um, uh, we can move past uh, it says in the last days perilous times shall come uh, we know that perilous times are here uh, but it may well we're not may it will get more perilous as time goes on but we trust in the Lord Amen. we trust in the Lord that he is our keeper that he is our watcher our provider I'm always reminded of the, the psalm, Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We should say that the Lord, He is our refuge. He is our fortress. In Him will we trust. And that's, that's where our hope and our confidence is in. Our hope and our confidence is not in man. Our hope and our confidence is not in the armies of man. But our hope and our confidence is in the Lord. Hallelujah. And we know that he will provide, he will protect, he will keep us. And the Bible says he will keep thee in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him. Hallelujah. So we want to keep our hearts and our minds stayed on the Lord as, as we see the day approaching. Amen. We want to draw nigh unto the Lord. Yes. Draw closer unto him and worship his holy name. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, uh, we also want to remember our Bible study on tonight. Thank you, Lord, that something be said or done to encourage our hearts and to inspire us, Hallelujah. amen, to go higher. Thank we you. should all want to go higher in the Lord. Yeah. We should all want to reach a deeper depth, a greater level in Him. And I believe that the Lord has greater levels for those that diligently seek Him. Yeah. The Bible says that he is a rewarder, Hallelujah. a man, a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. And we believe that with all of our heart, with all of our might, with all of our strength, because the Lord has things for us. Yeah. Uh, and if God be for us, who then can be against us? So he wants to show us these things, but he wants us to put forth the work, put forth the effort. So as we get ready to go before the Lord, let us, let us draw closer and nigh unto him with that mind, with that spirit, that we want to uh, grow closer to him, pressing toward yeah. that mark yeah. of the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Let us not lose sight of the mark. Hallelujah. Let us not lose sight of our hope. <clears throat> let us press in the name of Jesus. Greater Father, we thank you and praise you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for your plan of salvation, that you have included us in this great plan of salvation, that we may draw nigh to thee, may we may draw closer to thee in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you look upon men and women and children everywhere. First of all, Lord, save, save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you save those which are lost, yes. save those which are sick, yes. save those in all walks of life. Yes. Remember, Lord, every man in their own station. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter where they are, 
The you. arm of the Lord is not short. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you're saved by your power, Hallelujah. by your grace, and by your might. Yes, Rebuke the hand of the enemy yes. in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Yes. Rebuke yes. death, rebuke the devour. Yes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, yes. Lord, we pray for your healing tonight. Yes. We pray for your spiritual healing. Yes. We pray yes. for your natural healing. We pray for the unity of this great country. Hallelujah. Men and women and children everywhere, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you say, Lord, you deliver. You set free in the name of Jesus. Cause your power, cause your might uh, to be manifest within us. Uh, give us that second hope. Give us that second chance. Give us that second anointing. Give us that second power. Hallelujah, Lord. You are God of all strength. A God of all renewal. A God of all faith. A God of all power. Hallelujah, Lord. Manifest it uh, through your son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Uh, comfort our hearts. Comfort our spirit. Comfort our soul and our bodies. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, every condition that we're facing, uh, whether it be financial, whether it be spiritual, whether it be physical, Lord, we cast all of our cares upon you. Hallelujah, Lord, you provide. Hallelujah, you make a way. Hallelujah, we'll glorify you. We'll magnify you. We'll give you glory and honor. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Bless us, Lord. Thank God of all shots. Let not the enemy consume us. Hallelujah. Let not the enemy triumph over us. Hallelujah. Our hope is in thee. Our trust is in thee. Now the body faith, hope, and charity. Ah, the greatest of these. Hallelujah is charity. Lord, we pray, Lord, that the love of God. Let it be shed abroad in our hearts. And let it be shed abroad in our hearts. By the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for every test, for every trial. Hallelujah. We thank you for every victory. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, Lord. thanks be to God yeah. that giveth us the victory Hallelujah. through our Lord and Savior, Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And Lord, we give you glory and honor. Yes. In Jesus' name, yes. amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for this anointing yes. that we feel in our spirit. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing that we feel in our soul and our body. Hallelujah, Lord, we know, uh, hallelujah, that you live. Yes. Hallelujah, because we can feel you in our hands. Hallelujah. We can feel you in our feet. Hey, Lord, on. we can feel you all over us. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord, renew our mind right now. Mm. As we go ready to go into your Bible study, hallelujah. turning to the book of Ephesians chapter number one. Hey, hallelujah, on. Lord, renew our spirit. Good hey, glory, renew our minds, yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Let no condemnation be upon us. Thank you. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Renew our hearts and renew our minds. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Renew our heart. Renew our mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Renew our heart, Lord. Renew our mind. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Hey, glory. Let no condemnation enter our minds. Let no condemnation come into our spirit. Oh God, hallelujah. Renew our mind. Renew our spirit. Renew our soul. Hallelujah. Lord, we beseech you by the mercies of God as we present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, we don't want to be conformed. Lord, bless us to be transformed. Yeah, by the renewing of our mind. And Lord, that we may prove what is that good and acceptable. And that perfect will of God. Lord, bless us tonight. Hey, hallelujah. Bless us tonight. Hey, glory. Bless us tonight. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let you renew our hearts. Hey, Lord, renew our mind. Hey, Lord, 
of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you. Glory, we magnify you. Hallelujah, we praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah, not like you. Hallelujah, not like you. Hallelujah, Lord, we're strong in thee. Oh, we declare it and decree it that we're strong in thee. And we're strong in the power of your might. Yeah. Ah, that nothing by any means yeah. shall harm us. Yeah. That nothing by any means yeah. shall deal with us treacherously. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, we cast all things down. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah, that we're dwelling in heavenly places. Yeah. Yeah. Far above principalities. Far above powers. Hallelujah, we worship your holy name. Hey, Lord, thank you for your presence. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your power. Thank you. Hey, come on, shut. Hallelujah, never the same. Ah, oh, when we leave your presence on tonight, we'll never be the same. When we leave this place on tonight, but never from your presence, we're never the same. Lord, you abide with us. Lord, you rule over us. And you manifest your grace unto us. Hallelujah. Thank you, your grace. Hey, thank you, your grace. Thank you, your grace. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every sickness and disease. Hallelujah. You're healed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Every miracle that could be performed. Hallelujah. Unto this very hour. Yeah. By his stripes. Yeah. You are healed. Yeah. By his stripes. Yeah. You are delivered. Yeah. By his stripes. Yeah. You are set free. Yeah. Lord we believe you. Yeah. We got an option from the Holy Ghost. We got an option from the Holy One. We believe your word. We believe your power. We believe your strength. We believe in your might. We believe in your operation of faith by faith. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as you take us from glory to glory. Hey, Lord, we lift you up. As you take us from glory to glory. We lift you up. As you take us from glory to glory. Ah, we magnify your name. We won't complain. We won't murmur. Hey, we won't, hallelujah. We won't cause division. Lord, we pray that you bless us. Ah, that you cleanse us from all unrighteousness. From every word, every thought, every secret thought, every deed. In the name of Jesus. Let your cleansing blood, let your cleansing power, let your cleansing anointing, let it atone us, let it restore us, let it revive us. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. Oh, Sunday, Hallelujah, Lord, we magnify you. Oh God, we praise your holy name. Hey, glory, hallelujah. Thank you. God, thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, thank you. We thank you for this anointing. Mm. Hallelujah, we thank you for this anointing. Hey, glory, we thank you for this anointing. Oh, God, we thank you. Hallelujah, for renewed power. Hey, hallelujah, renewed strength. Hallelujah, the Lord is among us. Hey, the Lord is among us. Hallelujah, the Lord is among us. Hallelujah, the Lord is among us. Hallelujah, he's Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. He's Jehovah Nisi. Hallelujah, the Lord is among us. Hallelujah, the glory of God is here. Hallelujah, my God, we thank you. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah, Lord, we praise your name. Hallelujah, as we are turning our scriptures, hallelujah, to the book of Ephesians, chapter number one. 
Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you. Big glory, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, thank you. God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, can't nobody do us like you, Jesus. Can't nobody do us like you, Lord. Hallelujah, can't nobody love upon us like you can. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Lord, remove tiredness from our hearts. Tiredness from our eyes. Tiredness from our mind. Tiredness from our spirit. Lord, we command it in the name of Jesus that we have renewed strength, renewed power, renewed anointing. Ah, send a fresh anointing, Lord. Hey, Lord, thank you for this fresh anointing. For this fresh time. Hey, come on, shut up. Hallelujah, thank you. Ah, thank you. Hallelujah, thank you. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, bless those, Lord. Hallelujah, that are with child. Hallelujah, manifest your power. Manifest your might. Yeah. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Bless those, Lord, that are with vision. Yeah. Yeah, that are with purpose. Yeah. Hallelujah. Make your will known. Uh-huh. Make your desires known. Uh-huh. That we might walk in your path. Yeah. Uh, that we might keep your commandments. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. That we might prosper. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hey, glory, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, come on. Thank you, Hallelujah, Lord, we love you tonight. Hallelujah, we love you tonight. Oh, thank you, Hallelujah. We come on. Hallelujah, thank you. Hallelujah, thank you. Hallelujah, Lord, we love you tonight. Hallelujah, have your way, Lord. Hallelujah, not our will, but your will be done. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, hallelujah, do it, Lord. Hallelujah, whatever you're bringing forth in this season, Lord, bring it forth. Hallelujah, whatever you're manifesting in this season, Lord, manifest it. Whatever you're doing, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, we surrender. We submit to your will. We submit to your authority. Whatever you're doing, Lord, not our will, but your will be done. Eskalaboshanda. Eskalaboshanda. Hallelujah, Lord, we cast all of it on you. And Lord, you bring it to pass. Hallelujah, let the weak say they strong. Lord, whatever you manifest, whatever you do, hallelujah, Lord, work it out. Hallelujah, Lord, perform it. Do it, Lord. Don't let it happen without us. Hallelujah. Let it happen, Lord. And we trust you, Lord. And we commit our way unto you, Lord. Hallelujah. Do it, Lord. Hallelujah. Do it, Lord. Hallelujah. Make a way. And make provision. And shut the mouth of the game, saints. Hallelujah. Lift up. Lift up your standard. Lift up your anointing. Lift up your power. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Surely the Lord is in this place. Uh, Surely the power of God is here. Hallelujah. The Lord is working in us. Uh, Both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Hallelujah, the Lord is having his way with us. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Lord, have your way. Uh, Can somebody say, Lord, have your way. 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 We surrender, Lord. Hallelujah. We submit to your will. 
We submit to your authority. Hallelujah. Have your way. My God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I've been in countless hundreds of Bible studies. Hallelujah. I've never felt the anointing and the power of God move like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is performing miracles. Uh, if you can just believe. Uh, the Lord is performing miracles even now. Jesus taught us, he said, the kingdom 
uh, come without observation, but the kingdom is within us. Oh, Hallelujah. We felt that today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The manifestation yeah. uh, of his yeah. kingdom yeah. is within us. Yeah. Uh, that's why we should never fret. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't fret yeah. evildoers. Right. Hallelujah. Don't fret uh, problems and situations that come upon you. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Just give thanks. Yeah. Give thanks unto the Lord, for yeah. he is good, yeah. and his mercy endureth forever. Yeah. So as we see that Paul, in the beginning of this particular chapter, he was giving praises unto the Lord for what he's already done. Uh, he has blessed us, amen, yeah. to we may sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Yeah. And oftentimes, uh, we in our own minds, thank you, Lord, we think that we're not worthy of, of what God has provided for us. Uh, at one time, we were not worthy. At one time, we were uh, without strength. At one time, we were sinners. Uh, but now, we're the saved of God. Now, through Jesus Christ, he has renewed us. Amen? And he has renewed our mind. We're no longer in the natural, walking in the natural in the sense we're walking in the spiritual in this present world. Uh -huh. So in verse uh, Ephesians 1 and 15, Paul says, Wherefore also, after I've heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and the love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. Amen. Paul was praying for the saints. Yeah. Because the love of God, uh, he heard about their testimonies. He heard about their transformation. He heard about the change that went on in their life. Amen? When, when Christ comes into our life, Hallelujah. there ought to be a change. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. There ought to be a change. That's why the atmosphere here changed. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When two or three are gathered together uh, and are in his midst, Things ought to change. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. And that's what happens. Uh, and that's what Paul was praying uh, for their continued success. We ought to pray for one another's continued success. I should want to see you go higher in the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I should want to see you prosper yeah. in the Lord. Yeah. Amen. And you should want to see me prosper in the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And because of that prosperity, we should be praying one for another. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Rejoicing with one another. Yeah. Rooting for one another. Yeah. That's what Paul, uh, when he said we're surrounded uh, by a, a great cloud of witnesses. Uh, Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we're compassed about yeah. by a great cloud of witnesses. Yeah. That mindset. I'm, I'm not your enemy. <laughs> you are not my enemy. I am, Lord. We don't wrestle with flesh and blood. Amen. But principalities and powers against spiritual wickedness in high places. The enemy is our enemy. Uh, the devil is our enemy. Hallelujah. And we should pray for one another's success. Amen. That's how you have known that you have passed from darkness to light. Amen. By the love that you show one toward another. Thank you. Lord. The unity that you have. Thank you, one toward another. And this is how you know I love you. Uh, by the sacrifice I make for you. Amen. amen. People yeah. that are that are lusting, that are lustful. Amen. They say they love you. Uh, this is the this is the this is how you tell whether or not they love you or they're just lusting after you. Right. Uh, is, is if they love you, they'll make sacrifices for you. Uh, if, they're, if they're just lusting after you, it's all about them. Uh, they, they won't ever make a sacrifice for you. They're, they'll try to get what they can get from you. Hallelujah. But those that love you, they want to see you built up. Those that love you want to see you encouraged. Those that love you want to make the sacrifice. Hallelujah. So you can be better. So that you can be strong. Thank you, and that's what Paul was praying for. Thank you, Jesus. He was praying that God would make the saints stronger. Right. Amen. We ought to pray since God has done great and precious things for us. That he makes us stronger. Yeah. Amen. That he unites us together. Yeah. 
Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, we're all in it to win it. We should be. Yes. Hallelujah. We all should be here so that we can go for uh, 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 his calling. Yes. Go toward his purpose. Yes. Amen. Yes. So that's what Paul was saying. He was saying, I ceased in verse 16. I cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. Notice verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, mm -hmm. may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Thank you. Amen. So Paul was praying that the, 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 the Holy Ghost, yeah. literally, that's that spirit of wisdom. Yeah. That's that spirit of revelation. Yeah. He was literally praying that that Holy Ghost that God has given you, that because He gave it to you, He sealed you unto the day of redemption. Yes, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. When He gave you the Holy Ghost, He gave you everything you need. Yeah. Uh, the spirit of wisdom is the Holy Ghost. The spirit of revelation is come. Uh, all of that comes through the Holy Ghost. Paul was praying that God would manifest these things in you through the Holy Ghost. What was he praying that he manifest? Wisdom. Yeah. To be able to walk worthy of this vocation wherewith we've been called. Oh. Where help us, give us wisdom and the revelation into what we have. My friend, uh, uh, when a person doesn't realize what they got, they won't value it. Uh, Jesus, when he was teaching about the kingdom, amen, he said the kingdom of heaven is like a, a, a man that purchased the field and he sold all that he had uh, to, to, to purchase that field. When you realize that what you have in Christ Jesus is more valuable than anything that you can receive or obtain in the world, you make the ultimate sacrifice. You give of yourself. Hallelujah. You live the way God has ordained for you to live. Why? Because you know that what he has for you is exceedingly great. What he has for you is exceedingly powerful. It's exceedingly anointed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and you'll sell all that you have. Hallelujah. You'll do everything in your power. Amen. To please him. And that's what Paul was praying here about that spirit of revelation. Notice what he said. That the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Amen. That, that you, that your mind, literally that's the eyes of your understanding. Your mind may become enlightened. Thank you, Lord. We got to pray, saints, that, that the Lord will reveal unto us on a daily basis what we have. Amen. If you, if you don't realize what you have, you'll be like Esau and sell uh, your, your birthright for a bowl of soup. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You'll give it up. You'll give it up for a fleeting pleasures of that uh, just for a moment. Amen. Hallelujah. You gotta have that mind like Moses had. Thank you, Lord, that he said that I'd rather uh, uh, suffer with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin. Amen. For a moment. Yeah. Uh, we've got to have that mind. Thank you, Jesus. And the only way to have that mind, you've got to pray on a daily basis. Because you've got enemies that are attacking you on a daily basis to try to offer you this. Try to offer you that. Uh, but you've got to have, be strong and turn down this and turn down that. Why? Only because you got Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you got him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly. Yeah. Notice, the enemy, when he came at Jesus, he said, if thou be the son of God, mm -hmm. amen, turn these stones into bread. Uh, if thou be the son of God, jump from the pinnacle of this mountain. Uh, if thou be the son of God, bow down and worship me. Uh, the devil is always trying to offer you a, a quick fix. He's always trying to offer you a quick way Amen. To give you what God has for you. Uh, but you've got to realize that the devil is a liar from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, he's a, if he's talking to you, he's lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hallelujah. He's trying to set you up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. My motives aren't right. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm being honest. 
Hallelujah. Because the truth ain't in him. Hallelujah. He's, a, he's, he's the most subtle beast in the field. Trickery. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So whatever he's trying to offer you, you've got to realize you should automatically reject it. Mm -hmm. huh? Hands down. Don't think about it. Reject it. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and embrace that which Jesus has for you. Because the enemy, he wants to get you there quicker. And then when he gets you there to your so-called blessing, then he'll talk about you. Uh, he said, now pray to your God. Uh, now bow down to your God. Where your God at now? Hallelujah. What, what, what about all that praying that you did uh, and that confessing that you did? Hallelujah. That's how the enemy operates. Uh, he trying to build you up, then he trying to destroy you. He get the goods on you. He's an extortionist. <laughs> Hallelujah, my God. So you got to be careful. careful. Amen. And realize what you have in God is real. Yeah. And that comes through the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The more you fellowship with the Holy Ghost, the more you realize what you have in oh, Christ. Amen. You more you give, receive a revelation of what you have. The more you receive uh, the wisdom of how to walk in what you have. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what Paul was praying for. Thank you, Lord. And that's how we have to operate in Christ. Now notice what he says. He said that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his call. Amen. It's not about you. <laughs> because you've been bought with a price. you got to know what the hope of his calling is. Uh, the hope of his calling is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yeah. Amen. God, his hope that he has for you is for you to walk in his way. Amen. To live by his commands. To call on his name. To put him first. The scripture says this. And we're going to move on because I really want to get into chapter number two. <laughs> he says, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Yeah. This is the hope of his calling wrapped up in a nutshell. That thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all of thy heart, with all of thy strength, and with all of thy might. And that his words may dwell in you by faith. Oh, that's, that's the hope of his calling. Because if that love dwells in you, you'll walk in his way. Uh, you'll keep his commandments. You'll fulfill his will and his every desire. Hallelujah. That's what we have to have in our hearts and our minds. Mm -hmm. Lord, let me fulfill your desire. Amen. Let me walk in your way. Yes, Hallelujah. Let me keep your commandments. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, you need the love of God. Yes. Huh? That's, that's shut abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's why the Holy Ghost is so important. Amen. That's why the anointing is so important. Because the Holy Ghost and the anointing, uh, it can destroy yokes. It can break down those burdens. Yes. Amen. It can chip away at those, those thoughts, those, those ideas of unworthiness. Hallelujah. And that's, that's what we got to move away from. Amen. Mm -hmm. that, that we should, if we're in Christ Jesus, we've got to move away from the thought that I'm unworthy. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We were unworthy. But in Christ, hallelujah, we, God has done something for us uh, that we can receive the inheritance, yeah. that we can walk in this anointing, yeah. that we can live by his power, yeah. that we can live by his grace, yeah. that we can receive of his blessing. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's how we have to operate. Hallelujah. That's how we have to think. But we got an adversary, which is the devil. Hallelujah. That devil is trying to come against us yes, to is. make us think that we are not worthy of the blessings yes. that God has bestowed upon us. Yes. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. The power, yes. the wisdom, and the knowledge, and the understanding. We have to go get it. Yes. Amen? Hallelujah. Tell somebody, I got to go get it. I got to go get my blessing. Yes. I got to go get, hallelujah, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, but the violent take it by force. Yes. You got to go get it. Hallelujah. You got to go get it. You got to believe God. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to go get it. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Whatever you desire, you got to go get it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Sister Jackie. Uh, Bishop, I was at home and we were getting ready to come. 
Yes. Come out the back door and uh, stay on his car that's in front of mine. My God. And just that quick, I put my hands up. I was like, Jesus. Thank you. Know, and all I wanted to do is come back in the house uh -huh. and just stay home. I mean, it came just that quick. Just that quick. Into my head. Yes. You know, don't even bother about going tonight. My you Lord. Know, you know you're tired. You know you know you're going through this. Please, God bless you. Come on back in. But look what God look. had waiting for me. Yes. Oh, you know, God yes. is so good. And, and I, instead of doing that, as soon as I walked in the kitchen, I just told him, you parked in front of me. Yes. You can't get out. Yeah. You know, so I turn back around and come right on back out of the house. Thank you. Know? you. But I know that it's the power, the power. of the Holy Spirit yes. that work with me. That's right. You know? Because there's so many things that I just let yes. over instead of doing it the way that God <laughs> had got me to do. You know? And, uh, and I hey! I'm going to say this right quick. Uh, Mother uh, Louise said to me one day, Hallelujah. a week and a half ago, she said, um, you're not praying enough. My Lord. You know, and some people, you know, they shy away from talking to you when God is telling them something to tell you. Right. And she said, you're not praying enough. Thank you. And I knew she was right on it because yes. I'd be talking to myself, you know. Yes. Like, sometimes he'll wake me up 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, yes. you get on your knees and pray. And I started praying right after she said that to me. Thank you, Jesus. And it's like the Lord is just blessing me tremendously. That's right. Spiritually. Hallelujah. Spiritually, you, yes. you get up and you get to talking to him and, and you be in tears and everything. And you just be, when you're done, you feel so, so enlightened. Yes. You know? So That's I'm, it. I'm leaving home and here he trying to rob me of tonight. That's right. But God showed <laughs> me. God showed me after I got here. Yes. He just walked all up and down my spirit. Yes. And I just thank and praise God for that. So, you know, every time stuff like that happens, you have to remember. Yes, you Lord. You know what I'm saying? You got to do like the people in the Bible when, when they got fed. Yes. You know, and how quick they forgot. Thank no, you, Jesus. you got to remember, remember what it is that God has done for you. That's right. He did that for me. You know, because that was a beautiful thing that happened tonight. Yes, so God Lord. God is a good He's God. a good God. Yes, and all you got to do is press forward. Press forward. You know, I, I had already got angry. Uh-huh. You know, but he fixed that. He I fixed that. Me. Usually when I get like that, you know, if my husband say something and runs the wrong way, I need to be like, oh, I'm going to tear you up. But, yeah. but God, <laughs> but God, God, but God, but God, <laughs> you know, and it's been changing now for months. Yes. He's been fixing it. So I just come on, Jackie, you got to get up off of that. Yes. You got to let that go. Move you forward. Know, move forward. Yes. And that's what I'm doing. I'm moving forward. So yes, I'm Lord. Gonna, come on, give God the praise. And she used some right words. She said the <laughs> devil tried to rob, yes. amen, yes. and steal. That's what he does. Yes. Amen. Steal your glory. Yes. Steal your victory. Yes. Steal your power. Yes. Get you upset. Get you angry. Yes. Um, yes. But when you hold your peace, hold your peace and allow God to fight your yes. battle, he's able to move. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. He's able yes. to do it. Yes. So we thank God for that testimony. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And, and whatever, like she said, whatever God has has done in the past, you got to remember. Yes. Right. You got to oh, keep yes. that in your mind. Yes. All of it because it becomes your testimony and it helps to build your faith. Yes. Amen? Yes. It helps to build your faith. Never forget. Never, never forget what the Lord has done. Yes. Amen? Oh. Never forget the ways that the Lord has made. Yes. Uh, because sometimes we get in it and say, well, will he do it for me again? <laughs> uh, then you just think about uh, the other ten times you did it. Uh, and then ask yourself that question. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And that's what the enemy, he tries to block us, to get us, stop us from thinking uh, about the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And that's what Paul was saying, that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what the hope of his calling is. And notice what he says. With the riches of his glory, of his inheritance in the saints. Yeah. Notice, uh, what, notice that wording. And what the riches of the glory of his inheritance. God has an inheritance. And where is it at? It's in the saints. Amen. Yeah. God has an inheritance in you. Yeah. We have an inheritance in him. And he has an inheritance in us. 
The Bible says he put this treasure in earthen vessels in us. Amen? Amen. And, and that inheritance that he, that, that he wants from us is production. Amen? He wants us to produce. Uh, God is looking for us to produce. Now, if God is looking for us to produce, uh, we can produce. Amen. We can bring forth with patience. Yes. We can bring forth with endurance. Uh, we can do what God has ordained for us to do because God is for us. Yes. And if God be for us, who then can be against us? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if he spared not his own son, how shall he not freely with him uh, give us all things? God's inheritance in you started with that word, the seed that he planted in you. Hallelujah. You're getting word right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That, that, that is going to produce. Yes. What I'm putting in you right now is going to produce. <laughs> because he already broke up the fallow ground. Hallelujah. He already sent a, a, a rain and he's going to send a ladder rain. I ain't Hallelujah. And he's going to cause us to produce. Yeah, hallelujah. And in his production, huh, sometimes he's got to prune us. Yes. Huh? Take away some dead stuff. Huh? Don't, don't be surprised if some dead stuff start falling off. Uh, uh, some some stuff that's been nagging you for a while that 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 that, 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 is, that is sucking up the light. He'll cut it all. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Why? Because he wants you to produce. Yeah. Hallelujah. He'll chop it all. Why? Because he wants you to produce. Yes, hallelujah. He'll engraft you into a new space. A new echo shop. Where you can have a new anointing. A new flavor. A new power. That's how God works. Hallelujah. You've got to be patient. Yes, hey, shut up, shut. Uh, you got to wait on him. Yes. Hey, uh, you got to endure. Yes. Uh, you got to praise him. You got to worship him. Hey, you got to give him thanks. Yeah. Hey, uh, you got to hey, come on, shut up. Hey, come on, shut up, shut. Hallelujah, because God, He always has greater for you. Hey, He's always a hey, come on, shut. God always has greater for you. Hallelujah. You've always got to look at that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You can be almost dead, but you can say, Lord, you, you got to pray. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the enemy can come up against you like a flood, but you got to say, Lord, you got great. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You may, your foot must almost must slip, but you can say, Lord, you got great. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because God is on our side. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is for you because he has you. an inheritance in you. Thank you. Uh, never forget that. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus said it himself. He said, yes. I go away yes, uh, to prepare a place for you. Yes. Uh, that where I am, there you may be also. Yes. Notice what he said. Let not your heart be troubled. Yes. Uh, yes. We got to get rid of our troubled hearts. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We, we look at conditions, we look at situations, and that troubles our hearts. Hallelujah. Uh, but but he don't want us uh, to have a troubled heart. He wants us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness yes. so that all these other things can be added unto us. Yes. Be anxious for nothing. Uh, don't be walking around being anxious. Don't be walking around being nervous. Hey, the enemy should be nervous. The devil should be anxious. Uh, God has not given us the spirit of fear, uh, but love and power do it of us. And he's given us a sound mind. Uh, he tells us to make our request known unto the Lord. Uh, that's why Sister Jackie said you need to pray. Uh, that's why our Christian ministries, that's why our Facebook fans, we need to pray. Uh, we need to pray. Hallelujah. We need to. We have come on shut. We, and I'm talking, I ain't just talking about a hit and a miss prayer. I'm talking about a still away prayer. Hallelujah. Uh, that you go somewhere alone with the Lord. Hallelujah. And pray. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. He'll show up and manifest. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. He'll show you the inheritance yes. that he has within you. Thank you uh, in other words, my God, I, I feel the Holy Ghost talking to us tonight. Yeah. You know, we've got to realize, notice that scripture. He says, uh, uh, the, the riches of his glory, of his inheritance in the saints. Amen. God has an investment in us. Yes. Uh, we are valuable to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, God doesn't make junk. Huh. Notice in Genesis, he said everything he made was good uh, and very good. Uh, we may have some flaws, but he can polish us up. <laughs> we may have some scratches, but he's a restorer. Uh, he's a renewer. Uh, he's a reviver. Uh, come on in. Hey, hallelujah. David said this way, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want uh, He making me to lie down in green pastures. He needed me beside this field. Notice, he restored my soul. Hallelujah for his name's sake. Yeah. Hallelujah. He knows how to restore you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He knows how to revive you. Yeah. Hallelujah. You are valuable to him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, you are valuable to the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Don't ever think that you're not valuable to him. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. You can be in a situation mm, that you have done wrong. And when you start to look back you think about, uh, I'm going to lose this, I'm going to lose that, I'm going to lose this, I'm going to lose that. And then while you're counting that cost like that, you realize what you did have. Huh? You follow what I'm saying? Amen. You realize when you thought you didn't have nothing, uh, when you sit back and start counting what you're going to lose, you should say to yourself, my God, I'm going to do better so I don't lose nothing. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me get myself together. I got too much. It's in the refrigerator, it's yours. Yeah. 
In the same way with the blessings. Jesus purchased your blessings. Mm -hmm. huh? Thank you, Lord. And when you're in a relationship with him, you just walk in and get it. Huh? Hallelujah. You get what you need. You follow me? Yeah. I ain't gotta I ain't gotta worry about whether or not uh, does he got enough grace for me? Is there enough peace for me? Does he have enough power for me? If you're thinking like that, then you didn't you didn't you didn't <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, but you you gotta go get it. He said, come boldly to the throne of grace. That you might obtain mercy and find grace to help you in your time of need. Yeah. Amen. God wants you to have it. Yeah. Amen. God wants you to have it. That's why he says, seek the use what? Shall find. Knock and the door what? Yeah. Shall be open. Uh, ask and you what? Shall receive. Uh, hallelujah. God has a responsibility for you. Amen. Uh, do y'all believe that tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah. Do you believe that tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Don't, don't be walking around saying, please, Mr. Devil, leave me alone. Huh? Hey, yo, you got power. Get thee behind me, Shaker. Yes. Hey, get thee behind me. Loose here. Yes. Yes. Resist him steadfast. Why? He shall flee. Yes. Hallelujah. Because Jesus, he already purchased your deliverance. Yes. Uh -huh. He led captivity captive, and he gave good gifts unto men. Hallelujah. Those gift, good gifts are to spoil. I'm getting past my Bible study. Let me come back to earth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now notice what he said. Verse 19. And, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe? Notice Lord, that wording. What is the exceeding greatness? Focus on that just for a minute. Exceeding greatness. Now think about great power, great anointing, and then when you look at God, magnify that about a million times. When he says exceeding greatness, <laughs> he's, he's telling you that, that it exceeds all of your comprehension. It exceeds all of your understanding. Uh, God can do that, can he? Notice what he says. He says, uh, uh, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power yeah. to who? Yeah. Us were that what? Believe. believe. Amen. When you are a believer, you have exceeding great power coming to you. Amen. Amen. Exceeding great power. Thank you, Jesus. We, we sometimes sell ourselves short. When we in Christ we're not just mere mortals. We can declare and decree. We can speak things into existence. We walk by faith and not by sight. God is on our side. The Holy Ghost leads us and guides us. It protects us. Wow. Amen. Even when we mess up, huh, it still works together for our good. Wow. Hallelujah. Every test and trial that comes up against you, it's already been weighed in the balance so it don't overtake you. Yes. Amen? God did this before the foundation of the world. He predestinated you. That's what all that scripture means in the beginning of this book. He predetermined all of this. God did. Uh, uh, God did. Yeah. You follow me? That's why he can say, uh, Paul is saying, you got to understand what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward you. Notice, that believe. Uh, and it's important that you believe because faith unlocks the door. Amen? He that cometh to God must first do what? Believe. Amen? Believe that he what? Is and that he's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Without faith, it's impossible Amen. to please God. Amen. Amen. And, and this faith thing that we're talking about, God is showing me something. It ain't about you having uh, uh, deep knowledge and deep wisdom and deep understanding. Huh? Just faith as a grain of a mustard seed. I'm just saying that you believe God. Right. Uh, and your babies crawl. Babies walk. They don't understand how 
how they walk it. They don't understand how they crawl it. They just believe that they can. Amen. Hallelujah. That, that's all we got to believe. I ain't got to understand how God is going to do this. How God is going to make a way out of that. Huh? That'll bog me down. That'll cause me to lose a lot of sleep. Hallelujah. And it ain't for me to know. It ain't for you to know. Huh? Let God be a truth. And every man of life, let him do what he want to do. You just have faith. Uh, I believe God. Hey, mama, mama, shot. We need to walk around and just say that. Practice that. Uh, I believe God. I believe God. Well, what you talking about? Hey, I believe God. <laughs> Thank God. Get that in your spirit. Uh, get that in your psyche. Uh, get that be the first line of your defense. Uh, not, not I doubt. Oh, here it go again. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Huh? No! I believe God. Yes. Amen? Amen. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Look at the testimony. Look at the testimony of, of, of Joshua and Caleb. Huh? They had another spirit. When those spies, uh, they were part of the 12 spies that went over to search out the promised land, uh, the ten came back with an evil report. Yeah. Uh, they lacked faith. So we'd be like grasshoppers. Uh, and they sight. They're like giants. We can't do this. Joshua and Caleb said, hey, we well able. Mm -hmm. Let us go at once. Amen? That's what faith does. It moves you. That's what God likes. He wants to see you moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. One thing I know uh, that, I'm, that I'm understanding about God. Yes. God wants you to trust him. Yes, he do. Amen? Yes, and, right. and when you don't trust him, it literally insults him. Yes. It's an insult to God when you don't trust him. Mm -hmm. He gets angry when you don't trust him. Mm -hmm. when, remember when Moses got into a confrontation with God? God got angry with Moses. Because yes. Moses said, I can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. God said, well, look. They your brother Aaron, y'all go down there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be with you. You follow me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And, and, and when we don't trust God, uh -huh. uh, we, we, we diminish his ability. Yeah. Because God, God wants to operate through you. Yeah. God wants to show his ability. Yeah. God wants to show, here we go, his exceeding Greatness. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, God of shot. Hallelujah to those that believe. Yeah. Why? Because that's how he draws others in. Hallelujah. Through your faith. Your faith is contagious. Hallelujah. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. God wants to show himself strong. He wants to show himself light. God's eyes going to and fro, searching and seeking. Um, that's why he said to the devil, have you considered my servant Job? Because Job was doing those things that are necessary by faith. Yeah. Come on, shut that emotion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, because Job, woo, we don't talk about this part. Because Job had faith, God had a hedge of protection about him. <laughs> when you walk by faith, God puts a hedge of protection about you. Uh, and at the end, he can't stir you. That the enemy can't stop you. Hallelujah. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe God is protecting you? Amen. Do you believe God is watching over you? Hallelujah. Do you believe that he that keepeth Israel, yeah. he never slumbers nor sleeps? Oh, uh, do you believe that he's able to do exceedingly yeah. and abundantly? Yeah. Hallelujah. If you don't believe, you've got to tell yourself that. Yeah. Uh, over and over again. Uh, because if you keep rehearsing that, uh, it'll catch on and you'll start believing that. Yeah. That's why the devil always comes to you with negativity. Uh -huh. uh, he keeps repeating it. Why? Because he wants you to believe it. He understands the principle. If whatever you repeat, whatever you say, whatever you keep in your mind, whatever you meditate day and night, that's what you become. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. That's why God wants you to meditate on yes. Him yes. day and night. Be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. That you, that you can prosper. 
Ah, when they, so what I have to do? Hallelujah. But you got you to you combat negativity with positivity. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Even, even if I fall short, thank you, Lord, I, I, I say something positive. That's, David understood that. Understood that. I got to move on. Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. David understood it. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. When he was down there in Ziglag and they stole his family, stole his men's family, they stole their goods. The men wanted to kill him. Thank you, Lord. But the Bible says David encouraged himself. Huh? It says it. David encouraged himself in the Lord. Yeah. Amen. You got to encourage yourself in the Lord. Yeah. And notice, when he was encouraging himself, he asked the Lord, shall I go and pursue? And the Lord said, go, pursue, and you will recover all. Amen. Amen. Uh, David didn't just sit down and have a pity party and say, woe is me. Uh -huh. Amen. You want to fight. Amen. Right. Amen. You want to battle. Mm -hmm. You're going to take some hits. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. But you got to believe God. People ain't going to always treat you right. No. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, am I, I going to get angry with God because they ain't treating me right? No. Because they say some things hurt my feelings. People hurt my feelings every day. <laughs> People hurt your feelings every day. Yeah. Uh, that don't mean you give up on God. That's right. uh, I say they got the problem. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Leaders, leaders say, Lord, I got all these people that ain't going to obey me. Ain't gonna, God say, well, I got a whole world that ain't obeying me. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, hallelujah. So what you going to do with that? Uh, press on. Yeah. Amen. Press on. Now, okay, let's move on. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Notice what he said. Which he, uh, verse 19, he wants us to know this is Paul's prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if it's the prayer, that means you can obtain it. Amen? Amen. You can obtain this. This ain't a fairy tale. This is not out of reach. Amen? Amen. God is a rewarder to them that what? Amen. Do we believe that? Yeah. Amen. Now notice what he said. Uh, he wants you to know what is the exceeding greatness. Verse 19. Uh -huh. What is the exceeding greatness of his power to us where you believe according to the working of his mighty power. Amen. Amen. According to the working of God's mighty power. Yes. Amen. Amen. And, and that connects to, um, if you just go up, um, we're going to go back to verse 19. But that connects to verse, let's look at verse number 4. He says, as according as God, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be without blame before him in love. That's a mighty act of God. Amen? Amen. That God should uh, make you the body of Christ without blame before him in love. That's a mighty act. Amen? Amen. Notice, having predestinated us unto the adoption of his children, by who? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of of the glory of his grace, wherein he have noticed, made us accepted in the beloved. We are accepted in Christ Jesus. That's a mighty act. <laughs> That's a mighty power. Amen? Amen? Notice what he says. To the praise of his glory. That we, okay, verse 7. In whom we have what? Redemption. <laughs> Through what? His blood. blood. Whose blood? Jesus. Jesus' blood. We have what? The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Am I right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. So that's a mighty act that God has done for us to free us from that old man. To free us from that, that old way of thinking. To renew our hearts and to renew our mind. Amen? Amen? That we might walk worthy. That's why he's given us all this power. That we might walk worthy of the vocation Wherewith he have called us. That vocation deals with lifestyle. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. 
Thank you. Y'all must be thinking. Y'all got a little quiet. On me. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Let's go back down. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 19. He says he wants you to know what is the exceeding greatness of his power. And the other verses we talked about, what is that exceeding greatness of his power? Your redemption. Your forgiveness of sins. When did he do it? Before uh, he predestinated you. Amen. Before he made anything, brought it into existence. God had already manifest deliverance within you through Christ Jesus. All right. Um, notice. Um, verse number 20. Which he wrought in Christ. Where are you doing? In Christ. In Christ Jesus. Who, when he, when did he do it? When he raised him from the dead. When Jesus got up from the dead, he testified to his apostles. He said, all power uh, has been given unto me <laughs> in heaven and in earth. Uh, uh, and that all means all. <laughs> uh, all power. Where's that power coming from? Jesus. Thank you, Lord. How do you access that power? By faith. Amen. By believing. Yeah. By trusting. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and if he's telling you that this power is exceedingly great. Whatever issue you may have, <laughs> whatever situation you may be going through, His grace is sufficient. <laughs> his strength is made perfect in your weakness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So don't let the enemy tell you uh, uh, you're not this. You can't make it. That you're falling short. I'm talking about the devil. Uh -huh. Now the Holy Ghost can tell you that. He won't be lying. Uh -huh. <laughs> you believe the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. The Holy Ghost said you're falling short. Say well, I repent. <laughs> if the devil say you're falling short, you say loose him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Get behind him. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And this is how you know the difference. If God is telling you he's pricking your heart. If the devil is telling you, he's bringing condemnation. Amen? When he tells you the devil, he'll say, just give up. Just quit. Throw in the towel. Don't even go back. Don't even call nobody for prayer. Leave everybody alone. They don't love you anyway. That's, that's how the devil talks. Uh, but God, he'll tell you, call somebody. Uh, God will tell you, go to church. God will put somebody in your pathway. Amen. That's how you know God is working. Yeah. Amen. God will give you confirmation. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Uh -huh. Thank you. That's how you can tell the difference. Uh -huh. yeah. Hallelujah. I know. You know a bully, don't you? Yeah. When you hear a bully, see a bully? Huh? <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? Huh? The, uh, you know a tree by what? The fruit it bears. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Let's not be ignorant of Satan's devices. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Don't be deceived. Hallelujah. Amen? All right, let's move on. Notice what he said. I might get chapter 2 tomorrow. I mean, when next Wednesday. Notice what he said. Verse 21. He's talking now about the position of Jesus. When he raised Jesus from the dead, verse 20, which he brought in Christ, and when he raised him from the dead, and said him notice, Christ is set at the Father's own right hand. That own right hand is a position of power and authority within the kingdom. Hallelujah. In, in heavenly places. Notice, far above principalities mm -hmm. and powers and might and dominion. Amen. And there he's actually naming uh, the devil has a kingdom. The devil has rank and order. Amen? Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that. Uh -huh. But what he's trying to show you here is, is that the kingdom of Christ, the position of Jesus, is far above that. Amen? Amen? The devil can't do nothing with Jesus. Amen. That's why the scripture says, resist the devil steadfast, and he'll flee. Amen? Do you believe Jesus has all power over the devil? Amen. Amen. Thank you. All power. 
over the day. Thank you, Jesus. You got to believe that. If you don't believe it, you got to tell yourself that until you do believe it. We got to read scriptures until you receive that. You'll never see in the scriptures where the, the enemy uh, defeated God's people to where they never came back and won. Follow me? Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Now notice. Hallelujah. Far above all principality and powers and might and dominion. And every name that is named. You call devil, whatever you want to call him, Lucifer, Satan, the snake, whatever you want to call him. Uh, the president. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, the prime minister. <laughs> whatever you want to call him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Jesus is far above that. Far above principality and power. Notice what he said. Not only in this world, but in the world to come. That's letting you know that there's going to be a world to come. <laughs> hey! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Notice. And have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Jesus is the head yeah. huh, of all things to the church. Amen. Everything. Amen. Jesus is the head. That's why it vexes me sometimes when I see the lifestyle of people and they say, the Lord is the head of our life. Amen? If he's the head of your life, then you're submitting your life to him. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. And he should be the head. Amen? Amen? He should be the head. And if he's the head, call him Lord. Do what he says do. Yeah. He's the ruler. That's right. I don't dispute with him. But look like we are here with Jesus. That ain't going to get you nowhere. Nope. Amen? Amen? All right, now notice what he said. And have put all things, 22, under his feet and gave him to be head of all things to the church. That's us, the ecclesia, the church, the body of Christ. Follow me? Amen. Which is his body, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Amen? That's what we have in Christ. That's what we should be praying for. The, the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of revelation. Which we have because we have the Holy Ghost. Amen? We got to use that to obtain the knowledge of his will. To understand what is the greatness of his power toward us that believe. That that Jesus is the head. Uh, that he will never leave us nor forsake us. That he'll be with us always, even until the end of the world. And don't allow, this is what I'm after. Don't allow the enemy to take that from you. The inheritance that God has put in you. Uh, Christ in you. The hope of glory. Thank you, Jesus. Be strong. Yeah. Be steadfast. That's what God expects. Huh? He expects you to always abide <laughs> in the work of the Lord. You follow me? Now, I want to say this, and I'm, I'm done. We'll do chapter number two next week if the Lord say the same. Amen. That God ain't in the number. I pray to God we get a million people here. <laughs> Thank you. But God ain't in that. God is in the faithful. God is in those that trust in him. <laughs> if you're faithful and you trust in God, God is in you. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. Get God a praise. All we got to do is be faithful unto death. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God wants to make 
uh, show himself strong and mighty in those that believe, those that trust in him. Amen? Amen. I heard a sermon preached one time. It was called The Power of One. Amen? And the preacher did an excellent job. He, he went through the Bible, named, every, named a lot of people that God used, and, and he named like one person that God used to do mighty works. Amen? Amen. It begins with you. It begins with me. Amen. Let God use you. Yes. Lord, let, let, I'm going to let him use me. Amen? Amen. Uh, come on, give me praise. <laughs> Amen. I certainly do enjoy the Bible study on tonight, and we certainly do thank God, amen, for all those that have listened to us here on the Bible study and have tuned in with us, amen. If you received anything on tonight, uh, just put it in the comment line and give God praise and glory. Uh, remember that we have tithely. You're able to give online or drop your tithely offerings off here in our drop box at 930 Liberty Street, uh, Erie, PA, uh, 16502. Amen. We thank God that he allowed us to transition from our, our former location to our new location. And let us pray that God's anointing will continue to be with us. Yeah. And his power will continue to shine on us. And we'll pray the same for you in Jesus' name.